You can apply the same concepts to look at other motor controllers. Like we get this ventilation controller over here that happens to have a fast, a slow speed, lights, and then uh, obviously fast, stop, and slow. We also have the resets over here. So when we open it, first, these things over here are meant so that when you close it, and when you press this, you're able to press the resets in case that there is an overload that trips. We got two contactors because we got two different speeds. So that's our uh, slow speed, fast speed. If you look at the, um, if we get really close, uh, now I got uh, connections over there, 27 and 28, which that is for our fast speed. And then this coil over here gets 23 and 22, so that's our slow speed contactor. Our switches, uh, this switch over here, so this one's got 21, and then all the way there hiding is 20, 26, and 27. And as you see to the left, that is my uh, fast speed switch. Therefore, uh, my slow speed switch is over here with those cable connections, just as predicted by the schematic. Our stop switch, we only need one stop switch to stop either speed, so we just, it, it is connected to a normally closed connection. The overloads, the top over here, so we got this one, this one over here, we got 104 and 103. That means that, well, it's associated contactor is right there, 104, and I cannot see 103 is on the back of it, but the fact that 104 is over here, that means that the cables from here are going into this, con this uh, overload here, and so this is the fast speed overload. Now, another way to tell is by looking at this, look at that, that's 29 and 25, as you see on the left, the, uh, those are the um, fast speed overloads, uh, switches, uh, and this is the low speed overload switch. Is keep in mind that if a motor gets into trouble and it starts to get too hot, this is not what opens. What opens is the contacts that are here and there, and this one, when it opens, as you see, it will stop the fast uh, speed because that's the one that is well given power. Um, it's in series with 27 and 28, however, this one over here, 24 and 25, well, it is in series, is actually with these, uh, over, uh, it is in series with these contactor coil. We still got the, our fuses, now they're just in a different location. We got the L2 and given power to 0.25, just as predicted by the schematic, and then on this side we got uh, 21, given power to uh, cable number one via that fuse. Now, as this gets more complex, uh, definitely very important to disconnect connections or, or wires to take certain readings. Now, for as far as to taking a motor readings, we can just simply um, hook up, um, take readings here, uh, T13, T11, and then the other one would have to be a T12 right from the, uh, uh, the bottom of the contactor, and in that way we could successfully read the motor, if in case we're suspecting that we got a bad motor, uh, bad motor windings, and that would be, but that would be only for the high speed windings. If we wanted to read the low speed windings, then we would have to put a multimeter in ohms there, there, and then there, so that we get T1, T2, and T3, and remember, we're always looking for that 5% um, balance in the motor windings. As you would imagine, this motor controller, the fast speed can trip independently of the slow speed. Whatever overload contact that trips, that's the one that we gotta press. Now, we don't open it to press it, we just simply have this little long screw. As far as the lights, once again, this one is the fast. So the fast one over there, look at that, it has the 28 
and 27, which also is going to coincide with the same connections of its associated contactor. The bottom contactor is the one that is this fast speed. Now, the installer decided to use a certain type of wire, and one is power coming in, always energized for 40. The other one is going to the fast winding, and the last one to the slow winding. This wire over here, it is for the interlocks. Let's talk about the interlocks for a moment. We got four, um, five goes to 30, just as predicted by the schematic, but now 30 is gonna emit four. And you see all the way back over there, four and three, which it goes to normally close contact. 26 and 27, they are for a maintaining contact, which is a normally open set of contacts. Unfortunately, you cannot see it on the 